all you have to do is post consistently and all of that lies 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 big fat lies okay so you say you want to be a youtuber <laughs> maybe it's not for you hello ladies and gentlemen my name is april and you're welcome back to my youtube channel if you are returning here and thank you so much for returning and if you are new here then you know what to do you should check out the videos that you see on my channel page if you like what you see then of course subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell notification button to always be updated every time i post a new video today's video is going to be focused completely and solely on youtube I've been on YouTube for about five, six months now, and there are some things that I've learned about YouTube, which I don't think many people know, honestly. And I've also been getting the question a lot as to why I even decided to be a YouTuber, why I even decided to put out videos and all that. So I'm going to be talking about all of these things in today's video. So stay with me if you want to know more about this topic. Okay, so the very first thing, <laughs> that i found out about youtube something that people don't really really talk about is that it is freaking hard i feel like there's just this perception out there right that oh youtube is easy money like oh all you have to do is get on youtube and when you get on youtube you're going to be paid you know it's easy to make it all you have to do is post consistently and all of that lies 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 big fat lies okay no <laughs> uh it doesn't work that way so for you to even get paid on youtube you have to go through the monetization process and this can take up to a year so it depends on every individual and every channel some people get monetized in one month some people get monetized in two months some people get monetized in six months one year etc it took me about three to four months to get monetized right and also keep in mind that when you get monetized it doesn't mean that that's when you'll be paid when you get monetized it means that's when you are eligible to start receiving payments and your payments have to reach a particular level before you can even get the money and even to get monetized there are certain requirements i'll put up the requirements somewhere here but basically it's a whole process and the pay is not going to be instantaneous so you have to be patient you know, it to take a lot of your time, a lot of your effort, a lot of videos, a lot of editings, a lot of content creation before you can get anywhere. And this leads me actually into my next point. And that is that if you are getting into YouTube for money, you are wasting your time. I mean, not that necessarily you're wasting your time, but you might be very disappointed. So the reason is that when it comes to money, First of all, you might not earn as much as you would like or as much as you expect. And also, it takes a while, as I've already mentioned. So the thing is that it is, of course, best to find something that you are actually passionate about, whether it is funny, you know, entertainment or comedy style videos like pranks and those kinds of things, whether it's relationship type of content, whether it's vlogs like travel vlogs and all that. So it's best to find what you like to do or to talk about and make your videos about that so that you actually enjoy uh, posting on YouTube and not just post on YouTube in anticipation or in expectation that you're going to get money out of it. So for me, for example, right, the reason why I even decided to get onto YouTube is because I had something to talk about. So I had topics I was passionate about. And also at some point in my life, a lot of people were asking me the same questions over and over and over again. And I was like, oh my goodness, why don't I just put all the answers to these questions on one platform to enable people to get access to information? And of course, I was interested in education. I'm interested in education topics. I'm interested in certain insightful, controversial topics. So I decided to make my channel more of like a talking type channel. And also, for example, I'm not really into travel like vlog videos because i realized that when i travel and when i go out and i have fun and that kind of thing i prefer to be in the moment i don't like filming uh things that are actually going on like in my life because i really don't like having the camera on and you know just focusing on the kind of shots that i have to make and the kind of editing that i'll have to do so that is why i just decided to focus my channel more on talking videos rather than vlogs and you know vlogs showing like outings trips and stuff like that i just prefer to live in the moment so 
Yeah, but you see, again, I realized earlier on exactly what I wanted to do. So even if I do do like travel vlogs and stuff, they are very limited uh, as compared to my talking or education style videos. And the reality is I wasn't even thinking about money until further along the line. So once I started making videos, as time went on, I was like, hey, you know what? I could also cash into this. And so I started with the whole monetization process and all that. But originally, that wasn't actually my intent, even though I did know that, you know, you could get paid for YouTube and all that. But I guess my whole point is just that if you are into it for the wrong reasons, you might just be disappointed and feel like you wasted your time. Because guys, the editing, the video filming, the content creation, it's time, it's time, effort and all that. Another thing that I also found out about YouTube and also something that not many people talk about and that is that if you're not someone who can handle criticism or all kinds of feedback, then it is best for you not to even consider coming on YouTube because once you even post one video, you have to be prepared for people to be coming to you with their unsolicited advice, for people to be given feedback, which, you know, it's it's subjective. So they'll be given it from their point of view, of course, but sometimes it can be hurtful. Certain comments can, you know, put you off. And uh, even if that person is objectively wrong, it's still their subjective opinion. And some people feel like, they they have to just say it you know like this one you're not asking for feedback or they will just come to your whatsapp they will comment on your youtube videos they will dm you on instagram saying all kinds of things and sometimes someone's opinion will conflict with another person's opinion and then it's like you are obviously at the end of the day the decision maker but my point is just that if you take things very close to heart it would be very hard for you because every time you're about to post a new video, you're going to be thinking about what other people are going to be thinking about your video, what kind of comments they will give, what kind of feedback they will give. And that can really stifle you and your creativity. So you just have to be open-minded and accept all kinds of feedback, you know, with an open heart and open mind and just, you know, just, just be you. Uh, and maybe sometimes you can keep in mind what other people say because sometimes it might help you. A certain feedback is very necessary and it can help you grow your channel and also improve on your content. So there is that. Now, I just also want to talk about this thing that we call reputation. Yes, so reputation is very, very important. One of the easiest ways to be successful on YouTube, right, is to do something or post a video which is shocking. Now, of course, shocking can be in multiple ways. It can be something that a lot of people would disagree with, something that is very high, highly controversial, something that is debatable, something that is arguable. It can also be on certain topics that people really like to talk about, right? So for example, sex, or yeah, anything that's related to sex, really, people really like that pregnancy, sex, those kinds of things. So my point is just that in most cases where people have been quite successful on YouTube, they did post at least one viral video. Uh, some of these uh, creators, some of these YouTubers post a lot of viral videos and that gives them a lot of views, a lot of subscribers, a lot of feedback. And yes, just, just to make it clear, every comment, every like, every dislike on YouTube is to your benefits, whether it's positive or negative. So even if it's a dislike, is still to your benefits because there is a reaction to whatever it is that you are posting. So your main goal actually is to get a reaction. It can be a negative reaction, it can be a positive reaction, it can be a neutral reaction, but it has to be a reaction. The worst thing that someone can do to you is not react on your video. So no views, no likes, no dislikes, no comments, right? That's, that's like nobody cares. So basically you have to make people care about whatever it is that you are posting. So this, of course, affects reputation because a lot of the time things which, unfortunately, and yeah, if you're mostly a viewer, you're not interested in getting your own YouTube channel and all that, you should also keep in mind that the reason why certain things go viral is because of you or people like you, because these are things that people like to watch. So for example, sex related stuff, for some reason, you guys like that kind of stuff, you understand? And that is why people keep making it, because you keep watching it, you keep reacting to it, even if it's a negative reaction. Even if it's a dislike, you are reacting to it. So people are going to keep posting that. And of course, of course, of course, that would affect 
the YouTuber's reputation. So if, for example, a YouTuber is always posting about fraud in Ghana, right? Like fraud and things like that, that YouTuber would be tagged as someone who is consistently posting about fraud in Ghana, right? So of course, there is a link between that and it is up to you to decide if you want to go into YouTube. It is up to you to decide what you would be okay with people labeling you as. So it's either you're just someone who doesn't really care about what people think of you or you are okay with people labeling you as this, that, or that. I mean, it's just up to you. But overall, of course, reputation is important. And keep in mind that the internet, things on the internet are more or less permanent. So whatever it is that you post, whatever it is that you talk about, whatever it is that you do, it will stay there probably forever. Now I want to go into the more technical aspects of YouTube, right? And that is basically the whole video making process. So some people don't really consider this when they think of getting into YouTube, but the very first stage is content creation. And you have to be serious about that. There are some YouTubers who hire people like to do content for them, to edit for them and all that. But most, especially Ghanaian YouTubers, most of us do everything ourselves. So for me, for example, I'm a content creator. I'm my own personal assistant. So I schedule when my videos come out. I am my own editor. I am my own thumbnail maker. I am my own location scout. I am my own camera setup. I am my own design setup and all of those things. So that basically means you are playing a lot of roles in one. And this is what accumulates into hard work. Oh my goodness, guys. Editing. Editing. It didn't take me so long to learn how to edit, but the editing process can be really, really long. And that is usually the longest uh, thing about posting a video because you can film a video for like maximum maybe two hours. Even the two hours is a stretch. You know, it depends on the kind of video, but generally two hours is a stretch. Now the editing can take anywhere, at least for me, it can take from about three hours to maybe 18 hours yeah and it depends on the video so i have longer videos and longer videos take a really long time to edit and it also depends on the kind of video in some videos i have to add pictures texts all music all sorts of stuff so when i'm doing that of course that increases the editing time and you need to have time to edit and you need to schedule very well so that you can post your video on the day on the days that people expect you to post that video. So this is so important. I usually do all of these things at night because I work during the day. So during the day, I have like work stuff. Sometimes I uh, incorporate my video filming into the day. Sometimes I film during the weekends and then I edit at night so that I just have time to be able to post the video on the day that it's supposed to be posted. It's basically a whole process. And if you're not ready for this kind of commitment or this kind of process, it might take you longer to be successful on YouTube or you might just give up early because you will not be getting results. And yes, consistency is important when you are on YouTube. So, you know, you have to be posting as many videos and as often as possible. And now the last thing that I promised you guys, what I said was going to be basically the most important part of this video. And that is that honestly, if you want to be successful on YouTube, you really, really need one thing. Without this one thing, you would definitely not make it. And that thing is personality. 100%, 100%. If you're a boring person, if you don't really have much to, to say, if you don't really have much to you, I mean, who's gonna wanna watch you? You guys should try to look at all the various YouTubers you watch and i'm sure that if you do you'll realize that each of them has a very unique personality that doesn't mean that you have to be loud and you know boisterous or anything like that absolutely not but you must have a personality so basically your videos and your concerts cannot be bland so thank you guys for watching this video i hope it was informative i hope it was maybe slightly entertaining and i hope i'll see you guys in another video for now i'm just saying uh, bye